Who have we got here then? Hello, Ruffy. Nice to see you. Jamila, I knew you couldn't live without me for long. Oh, yes. The longing was simply overwhelming. Still need to work on your lying, but let's get you out of there first, Princess. Thank you. It's about time. Whew. I feel really fuzzy. There must have been a rum barrel. Still, better than pickled fish. Now tell me, what brings you to Tripoli? Two reasons. The first, I want to find my father's murderer. Carlos is dead. That's terrible news. Yes, it is. And I promise you, I will avenge his death. You can count on my help, Jamila. Thank you, Raffi, old friend. And now take your crowbar and open up this barrel here, before the contents start smelling of pickled fish. Did you take my advice and finally bring a pretty girlfriend with you? Look for yourself. Um, hello. Who is this? I'm Theodore Morales, uh, inventor from Barcelona, and most thankful indeed to you, oh unknown friend. I think there must have still been rum in the barrel. Who the devil is that? The second reason why I'm here. To free his brother, who's being held by the Spanish Inquisition. The Spanish Inquisition? You may as well just stroll on into hell. I'm so happy you want to help us. Do I? You said you'll help me to avenge my father. Well, he was killed by the same people who have Theodore's brother in their clutches. Hmm, then I guess I do. Hey, keep off! Hello, Raffi. Hey, Theodorus, what's the plan? This black sash, what does it mean? Did someone let you take it? No, I just thought... There were loads hanging there. You can't just take it. You have to earn it, understand? You know that I'm looking for my brother. He's called Ramon and has very bright white hair. Have you heard of him? White hair, you say? I know that half a dozen people with white hair arrived here in chains. Half a dozen? So it's got something to do with the colour of Ramon's hair? No idea, but it's been teeming with albinos around here since the Inquisitor arrived. Before then I hadn't even seen one. Ramon isn't an albino. He only has white hair. His eyes are not red, they're grey. All right, all right, I didn't mean to offend anyone. Even if he was an albino, then it wouldn't be so bad. <sighs> Whatever. You think the Inquisitor is behind all this? But why? He'll have some kind of reason. Since the Spanish conquered the city four years ago, they found plenty of reason to lock up, torture, and kill people. Tell me, Raffi, you belong to a band of smugglers, grave robbers, and thieves, right? Why do you want to know, hmm? I just do. I don't know anything about that kind of business. Then ask me. I can get anything you want and bring it anywhere. For a bag of ducats, I'll smuggle a whole pyramid to Barcelona for you. Well, interested? Yes, but I've got no money. Do you earn well? Certainly not bad. The best money is for treasures from old graves. The Europeans are crazy for all that dusty junk. Do you know where the white-haired prisoners were taken? I think to the old palace. That's where the Inquisition have taken residence. But, hey, no one actually knows that, and especially not from me, understood? Sure. Whose palace is that? The former palace of the Emir. After the occupation, the Spanish governor moved to a building by the harbour so that he could keep a better eye on the coastline. Problems with the Corsairs, I assume? Exactly. The palace then stood empty for a long time, until the Inquisition discovered it. 
Now it's guarded night and day. And what about the rest of the city? Now and then, soldiers patrol between the harbor and the city gates. Doesn't matter to me, though, as long as they leave me and my lads in peace. But how can you be so certain they will? As long as we don't cause any trouble and don't support the corsairs, no one stops us from continuing to sell goods to Europe. And are you a corsair? No. You see, then everyone is sticking to the rules, right? See you later, then. See you around. Hey! Hey! Tell me, how did you actually meet Raffi? My father and he did lots of business together. Why do you ask? Ah, uh, no reason. Do you know what these black sashes are for? Every smuggler has one of those. I'll be off, then. All right. That must be the entrance to the palace. No gaps to peek through. Perhaps I should just knock. Get lost. There's no charity here. Good day, sir. Thank Allah that he led you to me. How can I serve you, good sir? Do you know anything about black sashes? Isn't that the smuggler's marking? I think it is. What do you know about the Inquisition? Another plague, this... Do you like living in this city? Tripoli used to be a blossoming trading town. And now look what the Spanish have done to it. Allah will punish them for this. See you later. Allah be with you. That man seems to be waiting for something. At least he's watching the desert attentively. Greetings. He's ignoring me. Huh. Where did they go? What's that? Black sashes. They might come in handy. That man seems to be waiting for something. At least he's watching the desert attentively. Greetings. He's ignoring me. Where did you get this? I'm a friend of Rafi's. All right, then. What do you want? Do you know anything about the Inquisition in the city? I've heard that the Inquisitor himself is here. You're not very well informed. The Inquisitor left the city in the middle of the night two days ago, together with his entourage, two guides, and a dozen camels. Did they have prisoners with them? No. Just soldiers. No prisoners. What do you know about the palace? Apart from the fact that it's well guarded, not much. Only prisoners and slaves are allowed in. But they aren't allowed out again. Are there still slave traders here? 
not since the Spanish took control of all trade. There used to be a huge market for it, but that's over now. The last slave trader sells dates now. Have you heard that the Inquisitor only locks up prisoners with white hair here? Yes, it is strange, but I don't know why that is. Perhaps he ran out of redheads. How do you know that the Inquisitor has already left? I have my sources. Adios. Adios. What are you doing here? I'm shopping. First shoes, then a carriage so I can carry the shoes back to my castle. But what do you think? I'm having a look round town and searching for a way to get into the palace, just like you. Have you found out anything about the palace? Just that it's well guarded, and that the walls are quite high. Yes. By the time we get over, the guards will have rolled out a carpet for us leading straight to the prison. We could ask Raffi how to get into the palace. Perhaps he's got an idea. I've got no idea where Raffi is. He's probably going about his normal business. Yes, but didn't he say he would help us? What Raffi says and what Raffi does are sometimes two different things. I think it would be less conspicuous if we keep apart. True. It's probably better that way. Good day, sir. Thank Allah that he led you to me. How can I serve you, good sir? You used to make your money as a slave trader. I've even still got the license. But no slave caravans come to Tripoli anymore, thanks to the Spanish. What's keeping you here, then? Why haven't you gone somewhere else, like all the others? My honorable mother is ill. And I am the only one of her sons who is still here. I can't go. Would you be prepared to sell me to the palace, as a slave? You're crazy. Why would you do that? I can't tell you that, but we want to pull a fast one on the Spanish. Hmm. Well, in that case, I'm in. But only if I can keep the proceeds. Jamila, come over here, will you? I'm going to try and sneak into the palace as a slave. As a slave? I know that you've got submissive tendencies, but how are you going to do it? With a real slave trader. He's even licensed. As soon as I'm inside, I'll find my way to Ramon. I'm coming with you. No. Yes. Do you also sell women? If they're pretty. Then let's get going. What do you want? Salam alaikum. Tell the master of the house his goods have arrived. I'm the captain of the guard. What goods are you talking about? Nice goods, young and healthy. Just come in, and just a thing for working in the palace. Well, I don't know a thing about them, but we might just be able to do some business. We have a load of filth to clear out. Name me a price. That captain looks familiar. Yes. You never forget a face like that once you've seen it. He's the one who gave the order to attack our ship. He killed my father. Are you sure? I saw his face. It was him. He attacked my father. Jamila, this isn't exactly the best time. We have got to get inside the palace first before we can do anything. You're right. Let's get inside first, and then we can do something. Good plan. Allah be with you. And you two are hopefully going to be worth the money. You clear that camel down away, all right? And you'd better come with me.
I hope that's going to be all right. Keep your mouth shut. Get along there. Go on. <laughs> there, your new purpose in life awaits. Clear the dung away, fill the trough, and sweep the entrances, and get on with it! What heat! Ah oh well, the main thing is he can stay in the shade. The sand there looks rather different, as though someone's buried something. Hey! There's nothing you've lost there. Get back to work. What a stink! Always follow your nose. As Uncle Tabbit used to say, you have to try everything at least once in your life. The leather straps aren't much use anymore but the metal rings are fine. A sturdy wooden bucket. I'm supposed to use it to fill the trough with water. There's water in the trough again now, and where's the camel I'm supposed to be doing this for? A broom. I'm supposed to use it to sweep the entrances here in the inner courtyard. Can you move, please? It's probably empty. Not quite. There are leaflets in it. The devil incarnate is amongst us. In the following proclamation, all citizens are summoned to keep watch for persons with pale skin and white hair and to report the discovery of the aforementioned at all costs. Each shall be remunerated for this pious act and likewise punished severely if non-compliance is proven. It's even worse than I thought. What is this witch hunt all about? Hmm. What kind of noise was that? Now or never. Just a fireplace damped with sand. I'll take a piece of charcoal with me.
Oh, two bottles with wine in them. Or so it looks. That's why the guard's so jumpy. Nobody's supposed to know. I'll just take them with me. This is your task for today. Mending shirts? Asking too much, am I? Well, I could send you over to my three comrades. You wouldn't have to do too much. Just lie on your back. Fine. I'll stick with the shirts. Three comrades. Good to know. Have to get to prison and take out guards. Have anything helpful? You all right. shifted the worst of the muck. Well, I wouldn't want to eat off them, but they'll do. I've cleaned the planks, and now I can stand them in the sun to dry. Yes, yes, whatever. Now that makes this place here shady, and takes away the view of the window. Can you move, please? myself and wanted to take a look at the wound in the sunlight. Tell me, so you can't sew now? Of course I can sew, if only this needle wasn't so tiny. <laughs> I've never come across that before. A woman who can't sew. How could a thing like that happen? I can sew really. Of course I can sew. It doesn't look so bad either. The wound is closing up by itself. The main thing for me is that you don't get blood on the material. 